Operation and safety. Operation. The blade cuts in a continuous downstroke. For best results, the blade must be sharp. Select the right blade for the job, depending on the thickness of the wood and the cut to be made. The thinner and harder the wood, the finer the teeth of the blade. Use a fine tooth blade for cutting sharp curves. Please refer to the maintenance video on how to change the blade. The machine is especially suited for cutting curves, but will also make straight cuts. Use the fence provided to feed the workpiece along the blade slowly and in a straight line. Using a push stick will keep your hands away from the blade. When cutting a design that has been marked out, push and turn the workpiece evenly. Do not attempt to turn the workpiece without pushing it as this may cause the workpiece to get stuck or the blade to bend. When using the workpiece table in an inclined angle, always have the rip fence on the lower side of the blade, if it's a positive or in a negative. You'll notice that there are two handles fitted to the trunnion, one that adjusts the workpiece table's angle and the other will lock the trunnion in position. The location of the handles will not allow you to do one full revolution. So, these handles are of the spring-loaded type that you pull towards you, rotate to get a second purchase and then release to re-engage the bolt for another grip to tighten. Before making adjustments, switch off the saw and bring the machine to a complete standstill. Stop the machine before attempting to back the work away from the blade. Stop the saw immediately if the blade develops a click. Check the blade for defects. Safety glasses must be worn. Long and loose hair must be contained. Hearing protection must be worn. Close fitting protective clothing must be worn. Rings and jewellery mustn't be worn. Do not wear gloves cutting timber with this bandsaw. Disconnect the power to the saw when changing the blade, adjusting guides or performing any maintenance. Be careful to check there is no residual sawdust in the bottom wheel area of the saw's cabinet, as this can harbour a smouldering ember that may not be evident straight away. Do not cut timber that is too large for the saw that may tip the saw over. Locate and ensure you are familiar with all of the machine's operations and controls. Ensure all guards are fitted, secure and functional. Do not operate if guards are missing or faulty. Lower the blade guide and guard for full effect. Ending operations and cleaning up. Switch off the machine when the work is completed. Reset all the guards to a fully closed position. Leave the machine in a safe, clean and tidy state. Do not, do not use faulty equipment. Never leave the machine running unattended. <laughs> do not force a wide blade on a cut or small radius. Use relief cuts when cutting sharp curves. This is a great machine. If you use this in the correct manner and using the tips that I've just told you for the operation and safety, this machine will give you many, many years of fantastic service.